Welcome back to Athens. So we're here in Mona Staraki Square. Um, it's supposed to be a nice little hustle and bustle market, flea market. Um, got a little historical site behind me, archaeological site, and whew, just gonna go on ahead and explore the day and see what it can get. So a lot of street performers out here. You know Jason likes to give the love to the street performers, so should be a fun little day through here. Try to find some lunch, maybe some goods. Um, they actually have an off-white store here, so we're gonna walk up there, check that out as well, and mm, let's go guys. Day three, ready to roll. So, Mona Staraki Square. I mean, people down here, just throngs of people coming in through here. And this little archeological site, um, could have got that combined ticket and gotten the entrance, but didn't do it at the Acropolis, so not gonna pay a la carte for these things. Can pretty much see it from here. I mean, old ruins, as anything here in Greece being restored, so nice. So we'll head into the little square area and see what the day brings. So here it is, the square. As you can see, just a 360 degree view of shopping, food, everything. Mickey Mouse, surprisingly, so pretty cool. See a little flea market over here. I think we're gonna start there. This is the Mona Staraki flea market and we'll just take a quick little walk through and see what they got. Always find plenty of fresh produce through here. I mean, just amazing. Had a delicious little breakfast this morning with a beetroot smoothie. Oh, tastes delicious. So, street performer number one, doing his thing. Then we'll just make our way on to the flea market. So, beautiful little music here, little ambiance going on, and we'll check it out. Clothing out the wazoo. You know, they have a main little thoroughfare, and they also have all these little streets set up on the side. I mean, shopping for days. See something up here that says Athens Hall of Horror. Let's check it out. Ooh, comic book shop. Cool. Bookstores, you know. Athens Hall of Horror. I mean, you got my interest. Looks like they're closed right now, but take a little quick peek and see what they have available. Hmm. Too bad they're closed. Live action scare experience. So it's kind of like a little haunted house. They got their little pamphlet here. That is nice. Cool little eatery here. Nice seating in the alley. Oh, that's beautiful in there. This is the main thoroughfare right here outside of Montessori Square. As you can see, like I mentioned, the whole city is just beautifully graffitied up. Some of it's just scratch work, but we do have a lot of good stuff around here. I mean, pretty cool. Plenty of American t-shirts. You got your little Amsterdam store, cannabis store here. Um, like I mentioned, weed is not legal in Greece, so it's gonna all be Delta 8, Delta 9 products. Um, learn the lesson with those. Don't do the trick for me, so I'm gonna move on past that. Seeing some Mosalad jerseys, I'm gonna be in Egypt next. Um, kind of tempted to pick one up in case I can't find one, but really like to buy them in all the countries that they are local to. Traffic through here. All right, we've made our way to Agora. This is the original market here in Athens. This was a residential, commercial, and spiritual place to go on ahead and visit. So we're gonna walk in and tour the grounds a little bit. Let's go. And welcome to Agora. So randomly walking, ran into one of these little archeological sites. Did a little studying on it and it happens to be the very first and when i'm doing all these market hunts in these countries had to go here very first market here in athens so 
This was a spot for commercialism, residential area, um, gathering spot, as well as a spiritual spot. We have a temple of Agora right up here, and we're just gonna go on ahead and tour the grounds and see what this little historical site has to offer. So, a little walk up to the top, and I'll see y'all up there. Got the underground train here on this side. Montessori Square where we just were, right over there. Sweet. Wow, this temple's in really good shape. All the pillars still standing. A few of them still, you know, a few of them displaced a little bit through the time, but really cool. This is a nice little spot. Very nice. See the old irrigation drainage ditch for the rain coming off the top? Wicked. As you can see by the puddles, we had a little, another Athens rainstorm. And I mean, they're quick, dries up fast. I mean, can't beat it, cools it off a little bit. Today we're looking at about, <clears throat> I believe, 63 degrees right now so none of one of those short sleeve days here in the winter <laughs> wow just look at this thing agora show yourself a little off the beaten path here see what's back here huh possibly a graveyard that looks like a grave site to me Got all the old statues here. A lot of statues I see here in Greece just don't have the heads anymore. Um, I guess kind of similar to Cairo, how all the noses have been broken off. This one, a lot of the heads have. Huh. It's not a graveyard, it missed a great opportunity. Here's a little example of what I'm talking about. I mean, Emperor Hadrian, no head, no arm, just i guess that maybe about 50% of the statues I've seen here in Athens are headless. Um, even more don't have all their full limbs. And I mean, as you can see, just the remnants of the market here. And what a sight that would have been. This was made in about 6th century BC, so we're looking at 2,600 years ago. And what a sight to behold if you were here during those times. beautiful flora line in this little landscape and as you can see over here the Acropolis and Parthenon just dominates the landscape and the horizon wherever you go in Athens a lot of little school groups coming through here today <laughs> little niños pretty fun and like I mentioned it's just really lush really nice do, 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 do. Not sure if there's any more, you know, hot spots here. That temple might have been, you know, the piece de resistance of this little trip into Agora, but we'll keep going along and seeing what we see. Interesting. So, not only was Agora a place of gathering for the locals of Athens, but it was also a place where they gathered all of their prisoners. So, these are the remnants of the cell block. Ha. Wow. Possibly the first prison here in Athens. Going to have to go on ahead and verify that out. Really cool to see that. Wonder what the conditions were like in there. Wonderful. And I mean, as you can see, it's pretty tiny, what? Maybe 200 by 150 feet. And I mean, couldn't have held many people in there unless they were cramped, cramped, cramped up. Wicked. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Where are we going? Come here. Where are we going? 
come with you. Bye! Dinner bells are ringing, and I'm getting a little hungry for lunch. <laughs> That's it, noon in Greece. So, got about 24 hours left in the country. Really fun so far. Socrates and Confucius. Hopefully this is coming out, a little sun in the background. This is a memorial of their encounter. Cool. I believe we're coming up on the church here in Agora. This little chapel. Cool. And let's get confirmation on that. Yes, indeed. Church of the Holy Apostles. Nice. Side vantage of the church. It has a little spire on top. Let's see if I can't get that in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do we got here? The South Square. Hmm. As mentioned, headless, headless. Headless, headless, headless. Just don't know what that's all about. But it doesn't seem like the heads were able to survive. I believe that's Zeus. Zeus? Hmm. I mean, every single statue. Headless. There it is. One of the random heads here in Agora. This is probably Artemis, Greek god. Some of the archaeological items recovered here on Agora. So all these things are, you know, found on site, dug out archaeologically. Oh. Yeah, look at them little toys. They go good on your shelf. This is cool. Double-sided, so you know. You can see both ways. A lot of ancient pottery. Some of the heads. Oh. It's a nice value for ten dollars. Very nice. It's <laughs> a little example of some of the Athenian coins found here from ancient Greece times. So all of these would be twenty-six hundred years old or more. Well, curiosity answered. Here's all the heads. <laughs> Surprise. One still standing. As well as down here. Yes. Yes. All right, and I think we have thoroughly investigated the Agora here in Athens. So, beautiful sights. A uh, highlight was that temple back over there. And we're going to make our way back into the Monastaraki Market. Um, see what they got available. Kind of need a little juice. Just keep going with the day. So, continuing on. Yes. And I mean, I thought it was packed the first time. 
now it's getting even busier through here so not really looking to do much shopping saving my shopping for cairo um when i was there last time i mean whew, the prices the goods just my style just my price so saving my pack room for that and i'm gonna go up here and try to find a little lunch hopefully some street food let her have them chicken sticks souvlaki again everything you want sports military wear hmm. something for everyone entering the shopping district now no fancier stores up in here on our way to the off-white store see what we can find went to that off-white store in dubai and just didn't have much um, prefer the website a lot more but check it out here and see if you know a little more stocked for men. <laughs> Sephora. Ooh, first tattoo shop I've seen here in Athens. And I feel very comfortable here getting a little tattoo. And we have discovered lunch. So, exactly what I wanted at Street Souflaki. And sit down and see if we can't get a little service here at Alpha Greek. Street Souflaki, so it seems like a pretty cool place. Um, had an English menu, so it's really good. When I walked in, the whole menu was in Greek, so a little intimidated. I mean, sure, I could have been able to order this, but I mean, let me just show you. Oof. One pork, one lamb, and I mean, pita bread on deck. The lemon slices that I learned the other day are just an absolute great addition to this little beer. And as always, Jason with the American Coca-Cola. So, walking down the street, seeing a few little booths selling um, British candy. You know, one of my weaknesses here in life. So, picked up some uh, buttons, a couple of bags of buttons to take with me on my trip, and it was really good. So, this is Blocky, you know. It comes with the pita bread on the stick, and you just kind of remove it from there, put it in your little pita bread, and squeeze a little bit of lemon on it. And I mean, very simple, like I've said before, you know, coming from the culinary world, ingredients already have a lot of natural flavor, so you don't really need to do much with them. And I mean, this is as simple and basic as it gets, but as delicious as it gets at the same time, so. Man, and I'm gonna miss that taste here in Greece. I mean, easily pick these up in America, but it's just something about having it locally. And this souvlaki, I mean, it's my favorite combination so far, so. Going ahead and we were walking up to the off-white store, but I had to make this stop here at the Street Souvlaki place first, so cheers everybody and we're going to go on ahead and get into this meal, refresh up, you know, fill up a little bit, get some energy, and continue on with this day, so see you in a few. There's just something to say, you know, about the ambiance of eating street side. As you can see, all the traffic going by me, all the people, the hustle and bustle of Athens City. I mean, there's something about it that makes me very happy. Um, back in Richmond, we don't have very many places like this that are on the main thoroughfare. And it's just a nice way to eat your meal. All, all kinds of action right in the middle of it. So, another fun day here in Athens. And I enjoyed this one so much. What a surprise little trip here. And fantastic, y'all. Fantastic. And as you can see, the traffic here in downtown Athens is real. So, that was a delicious little stop at the Street Suvlaki. Um, very nice uh, people inside. Helped me out a lot. So, keep on going. Um, passed up the Rolex store, H&M. So, we're getting into more of the posh little shopping district here. And the off-white store is right up here. So, as you can see, shops everywhere, traffic, business, people. Very nice. We're here in Athens Plaza. Off-white store was a strikeout. Um, just go into these different off-white stores and they don't have a very big selection. Just like I mentioned earlier, the website is just miles and miles of difference. Do see a little Nike shop over here. I'm gonna dump in there and see how cheap their sweatsuits are. Got a little bell tower here on the walk back to my area. Love to hear a chime off. What time we got? 1:31. Eh, no luck on that one. Finally made it out of the little hustle and bustle area. 
gonna walk down the main road um, to see some more of these glorious historic Athens sites on the way. Ooh, wonderful. Look at this mode of transportation. Nice. We're here now on the main thoroughfare and just gonna take a little stroll. Busy city, busy, busy city. Very Romanesque statue here, equestrian. It's just a little, little area. Ooh, look at that view back there of the city. Mm. Oh my God. And we have made it back to our hood. So success, day three in Athens, another fun day, you know. Came out the building just looking for the uh, Monastaraki market, and after that, it was just going to be random going from there. And I think it turned out to be a pretty good day out in the city of Athens. So, you know, Agora, really nice little historical site. Really like seeing that old first jail here in Athens. I mean, that was pretty fun. Um, the street souflaki, whew, better than what I had up here at the Dirty Mon. And I mean, the Dirty Mon was delicious, but that street souflaki, they had it down on point. So, another successful day here in Athens, day three. I think it was amazing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and oof, just gonna keep on going. Got one more day here, almost one more full day, and then we're gonna head off to Cairo. Really looking forward to getting me some uh, Egyptian shisha and just touring the country right this time with the GoPro. It's gonna be some amazing footage. We're gonna go out to the Giza necropolis. Oof, fun time. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this day here. Um, might pick up later on, we'll see, but guys, Thank you so much for joining me here on this Athens tour. Glad to be back. Um, glad that everybody's commenting, you know, liking the videos again. Holler at me. Love to chat. Said it before. I'll say it again. Don't you worry about that. You know I'm on repeat. But, whew, guys, till the next time, take it easy and peace. Holla at your boy.